Hi, it's Fahim, and in today's video, we are looking at how to safely inject vaccines in the deltoid muscle by applying our knowledge of anatomy to identify anatomical surface landmarks to make sure our injection technique is safe and appropriate. Before we administer the vaccination, it's very important to do the three following things. One, undertake a patient history and examine the site. You must keep in mind that the deltoid muscle is not safe for vaccinations for children who are under the age of one and no more than one mil of solution should be injected within the deltoid muscle. Two, obtain patient consent. Make sure you explain to the patient the procedure, the risks and the benefits. Three, make sure your equipment is prepared. Make sure the vaccine is in date ensure you select the right needle size and the gauge of the needle. In order to inject safely in the deltoid muscle, it's very important to be able to identify two important landmarks. The first one is the acromion process. The acromion process is a bony projection that can be felt just before the curvature of the shoulder. So by placing your hand just before the shoulder curves, you're able to feel the acromion process and two finger widths below we would mark out as the upper border. The second landmark is the axillary fold. It is also known as the armpit fold. And where the armpit falls is where you can mark out the lower border, which would be marked out like this. We don't inject in the upper border because you're at risk of injecting directly into the shoulder joint. We also do not inject in the lower border as you're risking injecting in the axillary nerve and the radial nerve. The first thing is very important and that is to make sure that your syringe and needle is not directly in front of the patient as some patients can become quite anxious with the idea of having a vaccination. Secondly, it's important to identify the site that we're going to be vaccinating in and that is done by vaccinating between the upper and the lower border and then identifying a V which can be drawn between the margins of the chromium process like this. You then make sure that the lid is loose and you remove the lid from the needle make sure that the needle itself or the bevel of the needle is facing upwards. What you then want to do is rest your small finger on the patient's shoulder and that is to give you control in case the patient was to move and that's very important especially in children. By resting your finger here I have full control of the needle itself and the syringe. You then inject slowly within the deltoid muscle and the reason we inject slowly is to make sure if you were to inject within a vein or more importantly a nerve, you're able to remove the needle and reposition. You will then aspirate and you aspirate by moving the plunger backwards and if there's any presence of blood, you remove the needle and you reposition by changing the needle. And you then inject slowly within the deltoid muscle. You then remove the syringe in a smooth motion and apply some pressure. Once you've completed the vaccination, observe your patient for any adverse effects. Complete your documentation and offer the patient an aftercare sheet explaining to them what to expect after a deltoid muscle injection and a contact number if they had any concerns. Also ask your patients for a review to see how well the procedure had went so you can reflect on your practice. Lastly, as a practitioner, it's very, very important that you reflect on your practice. Have a think about 
where you went well, areas which you could improve. Could you identify the anatomical surface landmarks? Were you aware of the axillary nerve? What if you had a patient who was not suitable for a deltoid muscle injection? Could you vaccinate on an alternative site? If you liked our video, click on the like button below and thank you for watching.